Hi there, thanks for watching the first video of Palo Alto training video series. My name is Rasul, um, I'm gonna be your instructor for the rest of uh, this video series and uh, I'm gonna show you basically how to use Palo Alto firewalls. Um, I'm gonna show you how to create a test bed with Palo Alto firewalls. I'm gonna show you how uh, to use them from the beginning, from the scratch, how to set them up and uh, basically how to use them in an enterprise kind of uh, environment. For uh, those of you who might not know me, um, my name is Rasul Aznavi Zadeh. Um, I'm a security uh, consultant and a security architect. Um, I have been working on security for, for a long, long time, more than 10, 15 years. Um, and I have been working with a lot of enterprise companies um, um, in the past. I'm the author of a couple of books. You can see two of my books uh, on the screen, uh, Enterprise Security Architecture and Ethical Hacking and Penetration with Kali Linux, uh, which are available on um, Amazon, Google, uh, iTunes, and, and most of the uh, ebook providers. Um, okay, let's get started. What is Palo Alto? Uh, networks and what they do. Um, Palo Alto Networks is basically an American network security uh, company um, based in California, and they are basically one of the one of the first companies that they introduced uh, next generation firewalls. Um, next generation firewalls and what they are. I mean, if you know um, traditional firewalls. Um, Basically, you know, traditional firewalls are all about TCP IP port numbers. Um, and basically, um, you could, uh, disable, enable, uh, you know, block, allow rules and different things, uh, create rules and, and do different things based on TCP IP port numbers. Um, while, um, with the next generation firewalls, um, it is the way it works is a bit different. Um, if you know, uh, these days, um, applications, they do, they don't really have any specific port numbers anymore. I mean, port number doesn't really, uh, mean anything these days, doesn't mean what it, uh, used to mean. Um, when, when you talk about HTTP, for example, um, HTTP, um, works on a standard port 80, but it can really Work on any port. So, uh, if you block port 80 or a low port 80 on a traditional firewall and HTTP works on a different port, uh, it doesn't really detect that. So, it, uh, uh, on a modern security in, in, in a new world, really port numbers, they don't mean anything. Uh, and, uh, that's basically the concept for next generation firewalls. Next generation firewalls, they are application awareness. Um, uh, they do deep inspection of the packets. They understand the packets. They look at the packets and, and, uh, analyze the packets. They, they check the signatures and all those kind of things. And, uh, basically, uh, they identify the applications and you can create rules and things like that based, based on the application, uh, not like, uh, traditional firewalls based on port numbers. Um, uh, um, Next generation firewalls, they, uh, can identify obviously users, uh, they can, they can integrate with your active directory, with, with LDAP servers, with, with different type of authentication servers, radius, whatever, and identify the users, uh, they can identify the devices, they can identify the locations and all those kind of things, and you can, you can obviously create rules and policies and things like that based on all those conditions. Um, they obviously do deep inspections and, uh, they have pretty powerful IPS, uh, um, signatures. So, so signature is, is IPS signature is, is obviously, uh, an integrated important part of next generation firewalls as well. Um, they do, um, decryption of the traffic. You could do the decryption of, of the traffic. Uh, so you could, so if, if, uh, the traffic is encrypted, uh, like it's an SSL traffic or, uh, something like that, you could, you could, uh, go and, and obviously, uh, decrypt the traffic, analyze it, and, and understand uh, if it is a healthy traffic, and then, then pass it on 
the firewall to the next level. Um, I will I will show you obviously how to do that and and uh, how to keep the obviously confidential traffic secure as well. Um, they do um, advanced filtering and protection. They have a lot of you know different mechanisms, security built-in security features and things like that, which uh, you couldn't see on traditional firewalls. Which uh, obviously I will show you on this this course how to do it. Okay. Um, what you will get from this course, um, what you will learn, um, I'm going to show you how to create a test bed with Palo Alto firewalls. Uh, I'm going to show you how to basically step by step create like a complete lab infrastructure for yourself, basically to set up uh, some uh, network devices, Palo Alto firewalls, and things like that, and and obviously generate traffic and create rules and things like that. We will be using a VMware Workstation edition for that, Palo Alto Virtual Edition, and we will need obviously some operating systems like Linux, Windows, uh, client or server, something like that. Um, I'm going to show you how to uh, do the initial configuration of the Palo Alto firewalls. Um, I'm going to show you how to do the configuration device, initial configuration and the management configuration and all those kind of things. Uh, uh, you can learn um, how to do the network management, how to configure the network, uh, basically section of Palo Alto firewalls and zone configurations and things like that. Um, if you're familiar with uh, uh, basically next generation firewalls, you know the the, the zone configurations is, is obviously uh, kind of a new concept on on on. Uh, uh, Next generation firewalls, although you had similar things on the traditional firewalls as well, you will, you will get all those. Um, how to do the routing management, obviously different static dynamic routings and things like that, how you could do those kind of things on next generation. So I'm going to show you those as well. Um, how to create objects, what are objects and how to use them. So I'm going to, uh, give you some, uh, obviously, um, session about those. Um, you probably are familiar with the concept of the objects because uh, the traditional firewalls are also they also have a similar concept. You could create objects and give them a name and things like that, and use objects and the rules and things like that. Uh, the uh, variety of the objects are obviously much more different in in or much more in uh, uh, next generation firewalls just because uh, there are a lot of things added like applications and, and services and 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 uh, URLs and a lot of things like that. So you will see that security profiles, um, how to uh, basically create and use security profiles on uh, Palo Alto firewalls. I'm going to show you that. Uh, basically, uh, security profiles like uh, antivirus profile, you know, IPS profile, uh, entire spyware profile, you know, uh, uh, file blocking profile, all those kind of things. I'm going to show you how how to do all those as well. Um, obviously you will learn how to do the, uh, policy creation and role creation on Palo Alto firewalls. Um, that will be obviously, um, similar thing to what, what you had on, on, uh, all traditional firewalls as well. The difference is obviously the policy creation is based on number of different Additional objects that that you didn't have on on, on traditional firewalls. We learned that uh, network address translation, NAT and PAT. Obviously, I'll I'll show you how to do those things as well. Quality of service, um, how to create basically quality of service rules and things like that. I'll uh, show you that too. Um, you will learn how to um, decrypt the traffic, decrypt the uh, encrypted traffic, like SSL traffic. Uh, inspect it and obviously analyze it. Um, so I'll, I'll show you how to do those as well. Um, the important thing, obviously, when, when we talk about decryption, the important thing obviously is, is to make sure that, uh, we are not, uh, decrypting confidential information because that could be, you know, a regulation problem, or something like that. So, so, so you will learn how to do those things as well. You don't want to decrypt, you know, uh, uh, financial or banking traffic, for, for example, uh, uh, that, that you could, you could end up, uh, having a compliance issue. 
Um, so you, you will learn how to do uh, those things as well. Um, monitoring, logging, and reporting obviously is an important part of the Palo Alto Powers that uh, you will you will learn how, how to basically go through the logging, create filters, and all those kind of things. So, so you will uh, learn those things as well. Application Command Center is a section of Palo Alto Firewalls that will uh, obviously help you in terms of uh, um, you know getting different type of reports and 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 uh, doing some analysis and, and and you know providing some nice features for 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 the management in enterprise as well. So you will uh, you will learn those things as well. <coughs> what do you need basically to uh, attend this course? Um, basically, well, I'll I'll. Uh, Try to make it as easy as possible for people to understand. So um, um, you don't really need to be, you know, a guru in a way, but but uh, you need to obviously have some basic TCP/IP knowledge, understanding obviously the applications and port numbers and things like that, um, and uh, you need to have some basic networking and firewalling knowledge when we're talking about you know things like. IP addressing and routing and things like that. You need you need to understand those things. So that's that's uh, pretty much all you need to know in terms of obviously getting started with Palo Alto firewalls. Um, next video, obviously, we will start the uh, creation of the test bed, and uh, um, I'll see you there in in a minute.